wake up. What? Huh? All right. So, hello. Welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm sleepyhead. Mm-hmm. Okay, so why are we so sleepy? What did we do today? Come on. Tell me our adventure. Mm -hmm. we, went, we loaded some animals. We unloaded some animals. We loaded some more animals. <laughs> Story over. Oh, wait. Forget. We unloaded the animals. We loaded. Story over. Okay. That's not as simple as it was, was it? I wish it was that simple. Okay. Um, so, the same farm that had the dog attacks that we got Knight and Rami and Gertie and um, Big Mama, Baby Girl. Anybody else? No, there were five of them. Anyway, um, that farm had some circumstances change, and she had to downsize, correct? So... She had to get her animals out of where they were at, and she didn't have a way to do that, did she? No. Are they all handleable? Not really. Okay. So, we went up there. We helped load and move. Um, two donkeys, an alpaca, a llama, two pot belly pigs, and a pygmy goat. Okay. And then she knows that her land cannot sustain all of that. She actually wanted us to take the alpaca and the llama, but we didn't because of the circumstances with the old well, not knowing if that's what caused our issues um, with the previous alpacas that passed away. Um, because if you followed us very long, you know that there's something on our land that um, the alpacas will be fine. Even Hope like went up, she ate, she turned around, convulsed, and passed away. We paid for necropsy, there was a big investigation, and all that could be figured out is alpacas are not indigenous to this area. <laughs> we did soil samples, we did hay samples, we uh, closed off an old well, had the government come in and um, take care of, close up an old well, uh, thought maybe that was polluting, didn't know, had a necropsy, they thought at first that they were diabetic, went through this whole rigmarole. It was horrible. So we won't take the alpaca or the llama. So we are on the hunt for an active, for a new home for them, but they're going to stay at her home. So she's looking and we're looking. If you are interested in alpaca and a llama, uh, please get in touch with us. They do need a good home because she doesn't have the land to sustain all of them. And because of life circumstances, she had to move. So um, anyway. Now, we did bring home something, didn't we? Yep, brought home two sheepies. Yep. Fluffy and Nina. Fluffy and Nina, and what kind of sheepies are they? Merinos. Merinos. They're beautiful. Um, they're fat and sassy, and they'll be added to our flock right now. They're up front mm -hmm. making sure that they... And the, the thing is, is they say that sheep... Um, never forget. Never forget the other sheep. And it was kind of weird because they didn't pay any attention to baby girl or Gertie. They just acted like they already knew them and went to investigate the other sheep. I don't know. I don't know. So, anyway, we have a little bit of footage for you. There's a couple of pictures of everything loaded in our trailer. Um, the big stuff was to the front of the trailer and the two little pot-bellied pigs <laughs> were to the back. What was the hardest to load? Now, none of these are, like, really oh, friendly. Wow. No. He was the pain to get in the trailer. That's true. He the was donkey was the pain to get caught. The mm -hmm. big donkey was. What about the pig? And the pig was just all around pain. <laughs> so anyway, we've got a couple of cute little photos of them all loaded up. And then we have the homecoming mm -hmm. coming up next. So hope you enjoy it. We're just really tired. Um, it's a lot of work to <coughs> load and unload them, especially when it takes two of us to physically do it, huh? Yeah, it's a two-man crew. It is. Um, just so you know, I have to put my tushy into it to hold some of them. Right? Put that rope behind them from the halter. Comes off. And... Mm -hmm. So, all right. Here are the two pictures. There's just two of them. And I couldn't video while we were doing it. There's just no way. You need a little um, GoPro. Put it on your head. It'd probably get knocked off. <laughs> so... Anyway, but we got everything moved. Um, we have our two new additions, and we hope that you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Bye.
Okay, so, RJ, what's going on? Well, we got two new members today. Okay. We're gonna... Hey! There is... The one looking at us is Fluffy. And the one to the back is Nina. Nina ends with 99 and Fluffy ends with zeros on their tags. That's how we tell them apart. I'm not like magical or anything and I don't know them yet. But due to life changes, this is the same flock that had been attacked by the dogs. Yep. And um, they are with Gertie in that, right? Yep. So, all right, let's let them in here. And we're curious to see if, um, and hopefully my camera will come up. My battery is starting to die, but we're going to see if they remember Gertie. And baby girl. Yep. I got it. So, we're gonna... Come on! Oh, the cat. And Toby's... Toby's holding them down. And here comes Fatso. Come on, big girls! There they go. Alright. Oh, look at Gertie's head. She's kinda... Alright. Aren't you gonna shut the gate? All right, there's Gertie and Baby Girl are from the same flock as them. And it's said that um, sheep remember forever. So um, they're not from the same flock, just the same circumstances. Um, <laughs> and Baby Girl and Gertie are right there. Remember Baby Girl and Gertie are younger. Those two are the older girls. Um, oh, and there's the donkey. Let's see how it goes. Oh, and Reba's looking for cookies. Yes, Reba. So, we have Nina and Gertie added to our flock. There's Patch with her limp, but she's on the man. She's got to have her antibiotics now, too. Yes. Yeah. All right.